The videos in this playlist will demonstrate how you will go from this data logger enclosure configuration, which is the one that's currently in your eco house, and turn it into the one on the right, which accommodates the extra instruments for phase two of the competition. A resource that you should refer to frequently during this process is a PDF that I posted to the phase two documents library and it's called data logger enclosure modification wiring diagrams. So this is the file right here and what you'll see in this file is I the first sheet shows cable routes and we'll talk about this later probably in the next playlist of this video series because this involves the routing of the cables from the instruments to the data logger enclosure. And then on the next six pages you'll see the EHDC2 data logger enclosure wiring configurations. So the first system here, the demo system, this is the one that I'm using to demonstrate all these um, procedures and I have this here in my office and so all the photos you're going to see and and the videos you're going to see are showing the demo system. The next five sheets show each of your systems and you see they do vary from one to the next because some of you require more zone sensors than others and we will I'll explain this in more detail in an upcoming video. And then finally sheets 8 and 9 show the configuration from phase 1. Alright, so the first sheet here, page 8, is the configuration with a weather station. So that includes HCT, DOFAR, and NESWA. And then the next sheet is for GU Tech and SQU without the weather station. So um, the, I just included these for reference so that you would kind of understand what you have now and what you're switching to when you make the modifications that we'll describe.